Hi, I'm Boss on top of the second night of our high school. Right now here, we're at. For this part is our ordinary differential equations, alright? So ordinary differential equations, we have learned methods to solve it. Well, we've already started from the simplest, like starting from equations or those, then we put in things like those derivatives. Then we start to get our differential equations. Then for differential equations, we take a look at what different kinds of differential equations are there. Then we try to solve them using different ways of approaches or different methods. So right now here, let's look at this example that we have. So first of all here, the square, then you add 5. Then after that is y. And this is equal to 9 sine 2x plus 1. Alright. So here is an example that we have. Well, I am going to use a few methods to solve this. Well, in this lesson, I'm just going to use method 1. Well, for method 1, I'm just going to use the longest method that we can use to solve this. Well, at least one of the longest here. So, method 1. So, how can I solve this? First of all, method 1, let me just tell you, it is just our ordinary methods. So it is what we use at first, using this operator at the same time. So first of all, you need to factorize this. But if you factorize this, if you just directly write it as d minus square root 5 and d plus square root 5, what you'll get is d square minus 5, not d square plus 5. So what can I change to make it into plus? Oh, let me just give you a hint. It is two things times together get negative one. Okay? So two things times together negative one. What you think of is I. Alright, so we'll check it again. I guess it will be correct now. So this is the point that we're going to have. And that means y in this part will be nine. sine 2x plus 1 then you have to over this whole thing so we'll get this so we get this as our answer well not exactly the answer but wait how about let's just start having it well that means the first part you can put it as 9 over d minus i square root 5 well we can put this first that means outside here will be firstly e to the power of negative i square root 5x then you will have to integrate so the integration for this part will be e to the power of i square root 5x sine 2x plus 1 dx so this is our integration here but for this part I don't think we can directly solve it in just this amount of space so we could work it out separately so for this part I'm just going to work it out here In this part, I'm going to use integral by parts. So integral by parts, I can choose to put this e inside first. So what if I try to put it inside first? So first of all, when I put that e inside, that means that I have to times 1 over i square root 5 on the outside. And 1 over i square root 5. I'm just going to leave it like this first. Alright. Then you have to integrate sine 2x plus 1 
the okay that is e to the power of i square root 5x next integral of parts but we can also try to simplify this at the same time so if we times an i on both sides to get negative for the i is above now you can also times square root 5 on both sides this is just rationalization So for this part, you get negative square root five i over five. Then I don't think you have this integration sign anymore. So for this part, you will have sine two x plus one e to the power of i square root five x. So here it is a subtract, then here will become an add. So this coefficient in front will still be the same. So next is just these two change places. So this is what you have here. Next part, you can differentiate this, take it out, then you put this back in again. So after differentiation, you'll get a 2. So you already have times 2. Then you have to divide by i square root 5, so this part you won't have it anymore. And it will only be a 2 over 5. Okay, so this is the part you get. Then next, we do integrate by parts again. So we're using integral by parts here. So here is an add, then next is a subtract. But after this step, I'm not going to put this E inside anymore. So for this part, if you take it out, you get plus, since cosine differentiates a negative sign, so negative and negative, you get plus. Then to be aware of that chain rule, okay? So then to get 4 over 5. So here will be sine 2x plus 1. Then e to the power of square root 5ix dx. Well, you may wonder, why did I just stop here? Now, if you want to know that, I want you to take a look at what we have in the beginning. And look at what we have right now. Did you realize something? So these parts behind are actually all the same, right? So you can just take it as an algebraic equation to solve it. So let's just take this as an y. So we get y b equal to something at 4 over 5 y. So you move it to the other side, you get 1 over 5 there. But here you only have 1. 
So that means you will still need a times 5. Or you're just thinking that it is like that, okay? So times 5 on both sides. So here you don't have times 5. Just like this. Okay, so this is what you get in this part here. So I'm going to write it down. But at the same time, did you realize that here, negative 4, okay, let's rearrange that. Negative square root 5i. Square root 5i. Square root 5i. So that means you can just cancel them out. Well, I don't think this is going to have enough space. So here is what you get. Then we use integral by parts again. Or wait. Well, actually, just use the operator in this part, okay? So from here, 9. Then here you have e to the power of square root 5i x. Then integrate. First part, negative square root 5 i sine 2x plus 1. Or I have another way of writing. I just write this down first. This part. Then I write e to the power of negative square root 5 i x here. Then dx. Okay, so this is the part that you get. Am I right? But when you look at it, here you have an add. That means you have to separate it into two separate parts to solve. So for the first part that we're going to have, so just ignore the constant in front first. We ignore the constant in front, like negative square root 5i and this 2 here. So those are the constants. So we will just ignore them for here. Well, for this part. So I'm just going to erase this part, right? Okay, so in this part, what you're just going to have is you integrate e to the power of negative square root 5i x, then sine 2x plus 1 dx. So in this part, I'm going to put that e inside again. That means this time on the outside, you have 1 over negative square root 5i. So still, I'm just going to write this down first. Then, for the next part, integrate. Sine 2x plus 1 d e to the power of negative square root 5i x, like this. So this is the part that you have, right? So you can, again, do rationalization. So this is what you get for this constant part. Then next, from here, you will have integral by parts.
So this is the first, and afterwards, so here is a positive, then here is a negative. So the next step, I'm going to switch these two back again. But this time, when I put this inside, you have to divide it by negative square root 5i. Negative square root 5i, that means you get a plus. Then here is over 5, right? Then sign from this part 2, you get it out. So you have plus 2 over 5. Then here you have cosine 2x plus 1. And t, okay, that is exponential part here. Okay, so this is the part that you're going to get. So after here, this part, use it to grow my parts again. And here you get negative 2 over 5. You integrate. So the positions are swapped. Okay. Then afterwards, these front two parts they still stay the same. Like this. Then wait, let's take a look here. Cosine, when you differentiate and take it out, you'll get another negative. So here you can differentiate it as plus. Then here are 2, 4 over 5. Again, if you start at this part, you look at the beginning. Then when you look at the beginning, you try to find a relationship that you realize you can just take it as an algebraic equation. Times 5, so here, square root 5, i, sine 2x plus 1, is your power negative, square root 5, i, x. Then you add 2, cosine 2x plus 1, e to the power of negative, square root 5, i, x. So this part then, you match with it again, you here you have square root 5 e to the power of square root 5 i x. So perfectly they can cancel out with these two terms, then what you'll be left with is here and here. So still this is not going to leave it on outside. But wait. Square root 5 i, you need to times this negative square root 5 i. So that means you'll get 5. Alright. Sine 2x plus 1. Then you have to add. So still this part you have the times. Negative square root 5i. So you get negative 2 square root 5i. Cosine. 2x plus 1. Okay, that's that you won't have the other part since it's cancelled out. So the next part that we need to solve is here. Let's go sign this part. Okay, so I'm going to use this space to solve for that. So 
So for this part, it is almost exactly the same except you change the sign for a cosine. Yep, that's the only difference that you have. Then from this part again, we need to change it into something that we can use integral by parts. So you can choose to put this e inside. You can also choose to put the cosine inside. It's totally up to you. So if you put the e inside, you get well this thing again. Okay, so this is what you have. And after that, so the first integral of parts and at the same time rationalization. So in positive, then the other part will be negative. So it's time for these two parts to change places. Okay, next. So this first part remains the same. For this part behind, we need to change that position again. But let's take a look at how many negatives will there be. Here you have one. Cosine differential, you have another one. Then when you put this inside, yes, there will be another negative. So three negatives, and it's still negative. So when you put this inside, it is just divided by a negative square root 5i. Square root 5i, this part that means it will be gone. And when you differentiate this out, you get a 2, so it becomes 2 over 5. Then you have to integrate. Sine 2x plus 1 d e to the power of negative square root 5 i x. Then, still the same for this part. So right now, here we're going to use integral by parts. So here, subtract that, yes, add. Wait a second. This should be inside of D. Okay, like this. Then after that, so you have this part and here. So from this part here. Still the first two parts, it will remain the same. So in this part behind, what you're going to put will be you take this sign out. So when you take this sign out, it becomes cosine and a 2. So you get 4 over 5. Then from here again, you put that all the way back. 
So you will get Wait a second, you type 5 so you don't have that over 5 anymore So this part I'm going to get Then again, it times it with this part All those parts you have cancel out and don't miss out this extra 2 So I have to add 2, score root 5i Then it will be cosine 2x plus 1 Then you have subtract 4 Because 2 times 2 yeah, is 4 Sine 2x plus 1 And that's what you have So let's take a look at what parts you cancel out Here, these two parts cancel But for these two, they will cancel out some parts, not the whole thing so you're left with 1, so 9 times 1, you get 9. So the answer should be 9 sine 2x plus 1. This should be your answer. So our answer for y, p, since we're only finding it for the particular solution in this part, will be 9 sine 2x plus 1. So for the first method, yes, it is until here. So it's actually quite long for this part. So I think this method one, I'll just end it here. And I hope in this lesson, you can understand for method one, what we are using. So most of the time, we have already used it three times. And this method is integral by parts. So for right now, I'm just going to end this lesson here. And if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So that will be all in this time. Thank you for your watching.